Welcome to Teledynamics video training series for the UCM 6300. Here are the topics being covered today. For simplicity, I've added a table of contents in the description below, allowing you to jump to a particular content section of the video. Now, let's get started. The first step is to log into the GUI of the UCM. Today, I will be showing you how to create an inbound route to direct inbound calls to various destinations. If you do not have any trunks created yet, you will first need to create trunks to assign your inbound routes to. Next, go to Extension Trunk and click on Inbound Routes. In the top right corner, you can see a list of the trunks you have available. Click the Add button to create a new inbound route. Here, you are still given an option to select a trunk to use. Next, you will want to assign a pattern that will match this new route. In other words, only the number you type here will follow this route. If you do not wish to assign a number here, you can just use a match any number pattern like X dot. The UCM uses an underscore character at the beginning of the pattern, but you don't need to prefix an underscore character to the pattern as the system will add this automatically. Next, give the route a name and a destination. In the example, this DID will be directed to the main IVR. Remember to always save and apply your changes. Now I'm going to create an inbound route for an analog trunk so you can see the difference. Click on the Add button and change the trunk to analog. You should notice that the pattern field is now grayed out and contains only an S character. Analog lines do not present DID numbers like SIP or ISDN lines, so you cannot direct analog calls in the same manner using a matching pattern. The only way you can direct analog calls with inbound routes is by using a separate trunk for each port. Our last topic for today is to create another inbound route using a DID to direct a call to an extension that also has a time condition associated with it. Click the Add button Give the new route a name. Next, select a default destination. Since this is the default destination, when I add a time condition here, I will pick a time and destination that is opposite of the default. You would not need to set up an office time time condition and an out of office time time condition as using the default as the primary destination and the time condition for the secondary destination is the correct method. For example, I want the DID to ring the user's destination of a main voicemail box. By adding a time condition using out of office time, the destination I add here will send the call to this new secondary destination outside of regular office hours. Remember to save the new time condition and then save and apply your changes. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. The voiceover service provided in this video has been produced by me, Allison Smith of the IVR Voice. Contact me today for your customized IVR and voice services needs. If you have questions or need additional information about the topics covered in today's video, please contact your Teledynamic salesperson or contact us using the information provided here.